Hi guys, it's Kelly from Nutri Wonder Hub. This week's theme is all about kind of thinking outside the box. And so what I wanted to do with you is go through a few word puzzles. These are special puzzles, they're called rebus puzzles. And they, they make you look at the word, but not just the word, because you can't figure them out just by reading it. Sometimes you have to read it backwards, sometimes you have to look at where the word is placed. So it kind of makes you guys think in a different way, which is all of what this week is all about. So I'm really excited to show you guys what they're all about and hopefully you guys can help me figure them out and we'll see what's gonna go on. Okay, so what's really cool about rebus puzzles is that the answers to them are always going to be words or phrases that you already know. So we're starting with this one because this is pretty easy. It just says the word thumb, but it's green. So if you put those two things together, what do you think it's gonna be? What do you think the answer is gonna be? Have you ever heard of that phrase before? Right, it's green thumb. That's someone who likes to garden, likes to plant things, has lots of plants in their house. That's someone who has a green thumb. They're really good at making plants grow. So let's try one that is a little bit harder. Here's this one, okay. So that's kind of hard to read, but remember I said that with rebus puzzles, you have to look not just at the word, you have to look at how the word is spelled or maybe which direction it's going. What direction is this word going? Do you think it's upside down? Do you think it's side to side? Hmm. No, this word is going up. See, it's going up like this, this word. N-O, what does N-O spell? N-O is no. And then this is G-O-O-D. That means good, right? So there's no good, but it's going up. And there's two of them. So I wonder what it would be. There's two no goods and they're going up. So have you ever heard a phrase like that, that you could put all of these little pieces of the puzzle together. The phrase is up to no good because these are the words no good and they're going up. Let's try a different one. Okay, this one has two words. So it has all and again, hmm. but that can't be it. That's not a word or phrase. It's not a, not an answer to a puzzle. It kind of sounds like there's more to do here. So let's think. We've got two words and they are all and again. There's again is on the bottom and all is on the top. Again, maybe you could say that again is underneath all and all is over top of again. Hey, wait, I think that might be the answer. Did you guys hear that? All over again. Have you heard that one before? Because all is over top of again, all over again. Huh, that was pretty easy. Here, this one you might, you guys might know. Okay, let's see. We have the word Jack and there is a big box. Hmm. There's a box around Jack. Does that make sense? Hmm. No, I don't think so. There's not a box around Jack. There's a Jack. There's a Jack in the box, right? You guys did it. All right, let's try another one. Okay, this one has the word tickled. Tickled is kind of a funny word, but what color is that word, you guys? What color is the word tickled? Can you put those two things together? Do you remember when we had our green thumb? This one, the word tickled is pink. So is it pink tickled or is it tickled pink? Which one of those have you guys ever heard before? Mm, you're right, it's tickled pink because someone who's tickled pink is very, very happy about something. All right, let's try another one. You guys might like this one. 
Hmm. Okay, so we have two words. We have the word arrest and we have the word your. So I wonder what that means. I think that we have to think about it just like our other one that said all and again. Do you guys remember that? We had the words all and again, but all was over top of again. So maybe we could say arrest over your? I don't think that's right. Arrest on top of your? I don't think that's right either. Maybe your underneath arrest? No, that's not how you say that. How do you guys say it? You're under arrest. Oh, that was easy and pretty funny. Two more for you guys. Look at this. Okay. Here's another rebus puzzle for you. Hmm, that doesn't look like a word to me. It doesn't look like a word. If I'm reading it from right to left, how we read words, from right side to left side, that doesn't look like a word to me. I wonder why. Maybe it's up and down, R and R, E and E. Hmm. Do you guys think that makes sense if I write it like that? I don't think that's right. Maybe instead of reading it from right side to left side, we read it backwards. From this side to this side, the left side to the right side. O-V-E-R. O-V-E-R. What word is that? Over. Hmm. Okay, so there's two. There's two overs and they're backwards left they're left they go from left to right so they're left overs <gasps> that must be it because you read the word from left to right they must be leftovers. you guys know that word hey <laughs> all right last one here we go okay so we have three M's and three C's. One, two, three. Hmm, I think that's supposed to be a word. I think that there's a spot here where there's supposed to be a letter. Let's see. I think there's supposed to be a letter here. But what letter could it be? I wonder. Could it be the word mace? Maybe it could be the word meese. What do you guys think goes in that spot? Let's try and think of all of our vowels. Let's see our vowels. Hmm. A, E, I, O, U. So it I don't think M-E-C-E -E is a word, so we're going to cross E out because I don't think E goes there. And I don't think M-O-C-E -E is a word either. And M-U-C-E -E doesn't sound like a word to me. So it could be mace or it could be mice. So if that's the word mace, I don't think it makes sense. Three mace. The word's going from right to left. I wonder how to figure this one out. Mace. But if it's the word mice, does that make sense? We could say there's three mice and they're missing their eyes. Have you guys ever heard of the fairy tale? Or maybe it's a nursery rhyme. Three blind mice? I think that's the answer to this one, you guys, because they if this is the word mice, they're missing their eyes. And when someone doesn't have any eyes, they can't see. They're blind. So this one must be three blind mice because they have no eyes. Huh. There. So I hope you guys got a little bit, uh, it teased your brain a little bit. And I hope you liked the puzzles. Maybe if you guys go home and think of some, because they're really easy to think of because, um, 
they're all words or phrases that you already know, which is kind of cool. So I think if you guys put them on Facebook, we can see them and that would be really cool. So send us your best Rebus puzzles or just go on the internet and find some more to solve to work your brain. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.